So welcome to driveway developments. I really need to get a, a garage. Blinking heck, it's boiling. So in case you don't know already, I've been replacing the axle on the Saxo and this is gonna be a how-to guide on how to do it. I have been videoing it. Um, so yeah, hopefully you enjoy the video and hopefully it helps you. So let's go. This is an example of a really, really bad axle and I'm shocked that it's not flopping around when I yank on it. So let's go and lubricate the bolts. So here's one, there's not many, there's only four bolts I think holding it onto the car. But these are not really the ones I'm concerned about. ones I'm concerned about are the ones on the brake lines, but we'll lubricate these regardless. So I'm going to remove the brake lines from the brake bias valve, so that's where I'm going to lubricate. So, with a bit of further investigation, I've uh, I think I've come to a conclusion. My 106 has a little tiny bit of play in the rear axle. If I yank on it, I can actually get a tiny bit of play or movement. And I'm talking a couple of mil. I cannot get anything off this. So what that leaves me to believe is, I think the axle has not perhaps got failed bearings, but the actual axle is bent. Another reason I think that the axle is bent is because although there's no weight on the car, there is still camber on this wheel. So if it was camber due to the bearings having play in them, I would have I should be able to wiggle it, but also this would uh, go back to normal. I'd have thought, and or it'd be drooping, but that's not the case. So yeah, this I don't think it's gone. I just think it's bent. Remove the exhaust hangers both the centre one and the rears, this will allow you to drop the exhaust and get access to the axle and also I'm going to remove the spare wheel now which I can do from the boot now we want to remove the brake lines that are attached to the car if we look up here at the bias valve it's easier if we remove the two that are closest to the rear of the car. These are known for rounding and being seized. So this car has been on axle stands for about three days. Um, every day I'll come out and I'll lubricate these with penetrating fluid. And also I have got more grips. I didn't even bother using a spanner. Clamped them on as tight as I could and well, they, they undone fine. So they've been broken and I'm going to remove the bolts coming off this line, off this line and this line. So the brake lines have been disconnected and they're just dripping into this, which is to be expected. So you're going to want to get some sort of container to catch the fluid or just let it drain on the floor, whatever you want to do. Now I'm going to remove the four bolts that hold it to the chassis. And when it's on the floor, I will disconnect the handbrake cable from the front end of the car so that I can actually remove the axle properly. If you lift up the black covers in your boot, you'll see two little oval holes and you can remove the nuts there. And then that's basically two of the bolts that are attached to the axle. I have to do it this way because the boot doesn't open on this car. That's something else that's going to have to be fixed, but yeah. Remove these and then we'll go to the other two. So these have been removed. There's one nut, there's the other. And the axle has actually started to sag a bit now because it's just resting on the other two bolts. So before we drop the axle, 
make sure that there's nothing underneath that it's going to land on. Also, there's a handbrake cable that goes to each side. One to that side. And one to this caliper here. Um, what we're going to do is, we've basically clipped any cable ties that were holding it onto the chassis and also removed it from any clips on both sides so what will happen when the axle drops it's not going to rip out the cable then when the axle is on the floor I can remove the calipers slide the old axle out new axle in bolt the calipers to the new axle then we'll raise it back up so it saves me faffing around under the car taking off heat shields and exhaust systems for the other two bolts lift up the back seat pull out the little black covers and there's one bolt there one bolt there I've actually slid a spare wheel under the axle because when it does fall I want to break the fall not that I care about it because it's going to be going in the in the bin really but we don't want it falling like two foot if we can help it So the axle's out, all I have to do now is remove the calipers from the axle, I'll leave the calipers in place, then I'll slide the axle out and then slide the replacement axle in, refit the calipers and install. I've already tried a spanner on this and I know that it's going to round, I can just feel it, so I'm going to use more grips. So, this is the old one, as you've just been watching me remove, this is the replacement, oh. so basically the next video is going to be the reverse of this one, I'm going to fit the calipers, which are still attached to the car, because you can't actually detach the handbrake cables very easily. That's a job in itself, and I can't be bothered. So I've just removed them, and they're still attached. So I'll prepare this axle for installation, such as just basically removing that brake and sliding it up to buy the car. And then when I come back from my holiday, I'll, uh, I will uh, finish it.
So as you can see, it's absolutely boiling outside and that's about as much as I can handle for the day. I'm absolutely wrecked. But anyway, the axle's out. Not only is the axle out, but I managed to remove the calipers from the original axle and also prepare the axle for installation. So we're at the halfway point and the next video is going to be part two on how to reinstall the axle. So hopefully you've enjoyed this. I know this is a really common problem with Saxos and 106s and there's not um, there's no videos at all on YouTube, I don't think, of how to do this job. So yeah, there's definitely a need for this video and hopefully you find it beneficial. Once this axle's in, the Saxo's going to go for an MOT. Hopefully it passes, but if it doesn't pass, well, I'm too far in now to give up, so we're going to have to keep going and rescue this Saxo once and for all. So yeah, hopefully you liked the video. If you, if you did, like and subscribe, and uh, I'll be sure to get the next video up for you soon, in the next week or so.